What will be, will be The future is not ours to see Is there a lost day What will be, will be He's asking about the future But next time they say that When you read it out in your textbook Sarah did this experiment with her students. Sarah went to the park. Sarah rolled the ball down the Himalayas. It's always Sarah. And then, what's this? People in Canada say Johannes. It's not Johannes, it's Johannes. You know, in most European languages, except in English, this particular alphabet, the J, is pronounced as Yam. Like, like it, you say Jesus, it is Bipen Yeshu. But in Spanish, it's Jesus. In German, it's Jesus. In Italian, it's Jesus. But in English is Jesus. But here, this particular name, which it should be pronounced in Johannes. Your Johan. Okay. That's like the end of my class here. Yeah, that's like one more minute. Left. Two, four, one. Two, four, one. 
Is it too old? Uh, for example, 2.001. We look at 2.001. As well as time. Uh, two, uh, if three minutes past something, it's say two or or something, something like that. What I mean to say is, huh? <laughs> like, you know, it's always a decimal point. I'm talking about decimal point. It's past three, like, fail rate, 201, 301, and then, it's, it's like that everywhere. Sometimes, decimal point is depicted by a comma. By a comma, 2.51, we think that some people write as 2.51. That's how we are talking about. So, what's our status effect? And for him, like, he was trained that way, and I was trained this way. Right, sir? Oh, you get, I would like to disagree on that slightly. It is not actually what we say and accepted is in the society that we live in. Yeah, because what I've been saying is most of the time very different. I did say some differences between British and American. So, supporting him, I do say that sometimes we say Z, and sometimes we say Z. But that doesn't mean that Z is right and Z is wrong. In some societies, especially in the US, it's Z. They will not understand that he says that. And then yeah, something happened one day. They, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Lee got C. Something to say C instead of Z. And for a passport, when an English, uh, English person asked for it, uh, they, they said Z and they wrote C. Such mistakes can happen. So, it is not always possible to have like the same thing for all languages because even in Canada, the, the language spoken in Toronto is different from the language spoken in Canada. So the differences can happen. So I have exceeded the time that was given to me by five minutes. So I am here by thanking Ms. Pooja for giving me this wonderful opportunity of having Russian time with my teacher and I thank um, Sisri Nyuasin sir. Um, oh, so that's really sad. I messed up his name all day long. I don't know if you forgave me for writing my or his name. I did that so yeah. I, I thank him for, for like having me here and talk to his teacher. And I thank all of you for putting up with me all the time. Hope you like the class and if you have any suggestions you can visit.